Why is equality important in Hollywood and workplaces across the country, and why should this fight be a priority? I can't believe we have to ask questions like that. Well, we do. I mean, I'm not, I understand <laughs> that you do, but I mean, I feel like, you know, I think, you know, when I started out in this industry, and, I'm, and tell me if you felt the same way, I felt like, oh, women were always talking about this, you know, being equal, being equal. And I had this attitude that I'm a little ashamed of now saying, like, you know, you have to just do it instead of talking about it. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Set an example for the other people around you. But now you realize not everybody has the ability to have to set an example, you know? Not everybody's in the position to be hiring and to be a woman and to be promoting other women or to trust that a man is going to be promoting other women and hiring the right amount of women. So it is a conversation that unfortunately needs to be happening and I finally feel like we're at a time in this world where there are changes being made because nobody's going to shut up about it and now we have men on our side fighting for us. You know, I don't want to delve into politics too, too deeply this morning, Chelsea, but you recently said that the Me Too movement is, quote, a complete referendum on Donald Trump being elected to the presidency. Please quickly elaborate on this theory and how has that election impacted the way that we look at women in the workplace and women at large in society? Well, I mean, we elected a sexual predator and we all... <laughs> Okay. Knew it. We all knew about it, and we still did it. So now we have to reconcile that with ourselves. 54% of white women voted for Donald Trump. So that's called, you know, the morning after, I think. <laughs> and the only way for us to... I mean, it's obvious. To me, it's obvious. I mean, I think everything is a referendum, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful that we're having this movement, the Time's Up movement, that we're having the Me Too movement, because if Hillary Clinton had been elected, I don't think we'd be all talking about this. Ashley, you've been instrumental in making this movement happen. You were one of the first women to come forward and publicly accuse Harvey Weinstein of sexual assault and abuse. Yes, clap for that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that ultimately led to dozens of women coming forward with similar stories and also paved the way for people, both men and women across industries, to come forward and tell their stories of sexual abuse, assault, and even rape. Did you realize that that one act of bravery would have this colossal domino effect? I'm very glad that it did. Mm -hmm. And I think what has changed is that folks are finally able to hear the message because I'd been telling the story since literally the moment it happened that particular example of harassment that occurred at the Peninsula Hotel. My dad was waiting for me downstairs in the lobby. I exited the room. My dad could tell by the look on my face that something devastating had happened, which was his word. I told him, I told everyone with whom I was filming Kiss the Girls that night, I told my agent. Um, but as someone so pithily said, we didn't have an attorney general of Hollywood dumb to whom to report this kind of um, illegal and criminal behavior. And when I told the story to Variety two years prior to the New York Times, folks talked about it, but then it stopped. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that the container of, of these incidents and patterns has been shattered. And the point of the lawsuit is for there finally to be economic remedy for those of us who have experienced damage to our careers and opportunities as a result of illegal and criminal behavior. And and just to back up really quickly, two seconds. Last mm -hmm. week, you filed suit against Harvey Weinstein for defamation. Yes. And you have claimed that he not only badmouthed you to director Peter Jackson, but he told him that you were impossible to work with, that you would be a nuisance, and that you weren't worth the trouble. Had you obviously, had you been aware that there was a smear campaign that one person was running against you? I only found out when Peter Jackson and Fran Walsh told their story a couple of months ago. So this entire time you had no idea that, that this had been done to you? I mean, I knew that Harvey couldn't stand me because I stood up to him mm -hmm. and he would fairly spit my name at me when I ran into him at events, but I didn't know that he was defaming me. And so of course the lawsuit includes that he may no longer defame me or retaliate. And it happens so commonly, especially to women in workplaces across the country, that shift that goes away, the loss of opportunity for overtime that's economically advantageous, being overlooked for the plum assignment, obviously not getting a promotion. And those things hurt American families. I mean, we're already making less money than our male counterparts, and particularly when that intersects with race and ethnicity and gender and sexual orientation. And so I'm really excited that we can bring an economic remedy to American workers who experience sexual harassment.